What it is with y'all, y'all already know it's Top Cat 100. I'm back in the building with y'all. We want to touch up on something real serious right now. Uh, we want to first off send our condolences to the baby, and we pray that he pulled through this, you know what I'm saying, because it's going to be a lot of flat that he going to catch, you know what I'm saying, and a lot of throwing his name and things that already started to happen. But we want to touch up on something serious on this one because at the end of the day, we got a lot of talk that's going around. And, of course, the basic talk that's been going around, you know, that happened the first time with his father as far as his passing and people saying about sacrifices and things of this nature but you know we're not going to too much touch on that because that's going to always come behind any celebrity that loses somebody close to them now a lot of that is real I will say I do believe in it man but at the same time we want to touch on what's being said inside the internet you know what I'm saying and we want to touch on why people felt like that the baby may have been doing his brother wrong and here's the thing about it i feel like a lot of people will say you did them wrong and feel entitlement because of your success people that might have not had help you on the way but they were probably around being around is different from helping and that's what a lot of people got to realize now a lot of people want to point out certain things that his brother said within the video talking about he tired of conforming and stuff like that now i feel like this to me Conforming can mean a lot of things to him. Now, at the end of the day, was the man intoxicated? Now, a lot of people bringing that up. To me, that doesn't matter because you probably sip some if you feel any type of way. But let's get to what we're trying to say. Basically, he's saying that he tired of like falling in line you know now i don't know if that's his older brother or his little brother i heard it was his older brother and sometimes the older brother may feel like that he's supposed to always be you know what i mean his word go and you know what he say goes because he's older and probably can't accept the fact that his brother actually is you know coming into his own and doing his own thing it could be a lot of reasons now you know what i'm saying it just can't be that the baby got on top and a lot of people, you know, do this and do that for their clicks, but they don't do nothing for their brothers and stuff like that. It ain't no way I could have had millions and let him go through this and that. He is his own man. You know what I'm saying? The baby has kids. He has a family to tend to, and he has to watch his finances. You can't trust everybody. Some people are smart with it. You know what I'm saying? And he probably be indulged in business ventures and, you know what I mean, promotional things and sponsors and all of these things of that nature. So, you can't look on the outside and tell this man that he did his brother wrong just because his this happened to his brother right after this laugh. It, it don't always go like that because a lot of people, like I say, can just feel some type of way about anything. You know what I'm saying? If you tell them no one time, if you don't have the energy or the motivation to get out here and make anything shake and they see you did and you came up but you was in the same spot they was, then they might feel a little envious like it gets hard on entertainers as well and i want to point that out because all entertainers are not just gonna have a lot of money and then sit out here and not go through their own personal problems neither and we can't keep saying everybody that's going through personal problems has some type of mental illness just because they took they self you see what i'm saying that's not always the case neither man real talk we just going with these things that the news regurgitate and spear out and stuff like that and we sit here and we grab these words and keep on like i say re regurgitating it and you know we can't get nowhere doing that at the end of the day only the baby knows what happened you know what i'm saying now through his music he mentioned a little things about his family and stuff like that and it wasn't always good don't act like everybody that came up and everybody that got millions of dollars and got success now was always good in their family to people and stuff like that because that only happens after the fact you know what i'm saying you got to make people know the because on your way up when you're doing your music are you doing anything you're doing nobody sit here and pat you on the back and tell you how good you're doing because that little bit can make you go even further but nobody never does it they wait till all the success is over with i mean not over with but going on and then come along and say i was there but being there is more than actually helping and making it so you are a commodity you see what i'm saying 
Now, a lot of people don't want to make themselves an asset to what the baby got going on or a lot of entertainers and what they got going on. You see what I'm saying? You can't blame nobody but yourself. You understand? At the end of the day, if you're a man or if you're a woman and you breathing and everything healthy and you got legs and arms and stuff like that, you can't keep looking at what nobody else doing because it's hindering you from doing what you got to do. And at the end of the day, you can't expect nothing from nobody, not even your mother or your father you know what i'm saying somebody say no don't take it personal i see a lot of friendships and a lot of family relationships break up because somebody said no to a simple thing like what's really going on you know what i'm saying at the end of the day we got to sit here and look at it like this you can't as long as you go through life realizing that nobody owes you anything, life will be a lot more easier. And no, that's no matter what age you are. When you got your own and you get your own and you take the hard route and you get down and don't feel like you too good to start at the bottom and come up and get it, then you don't have to share nothing. And you don't have to feel bad for not giving it away. You know what I'm saying? Because the least thing people can do is a little bit of support. And us as a community don't do that well. Now, I'm not saying we don't do it at all but what i want people to understand is that his brother was going through god knows what you know what i'm saying his own issues you know what i'm saying you don't know if that man got kids and a baby mama and you know what i'm saying he maybe didn't want to conform his time all the way to the baby you know what i'm saying but you know what i mean you will never know you know what I'm saying? Because why would he take himself if he had a baby? You see what I'm saying? Uh, you know, even if he did have one, why would he do it, period? It's just a lot of questions that can't be answered. I just feel like a lot of people jump in the gun by saying that the baby just did his brother wrong. And, you know what I mean, he came up and left him behind. And he wasn't, you know what I'm saying, showing him no attention. That man a grown man. You can't make no grown man do what they don't want to do at the end of the day. And I know a lot of people don't want to hear that, but I'm here to give y'all the real. And if it ain't, you know what I'm saying, at least I'm going to give you that real feel. Like, it's going to feel like that, bro, at all times. That's why this is the real feel TV. A lot of people ain't going to want to hear what I got to say. But the ones that sit through these videos and they sit here and they pick through what I'm talking about and they grasp what they can use, them the ones I'm talking to. You know what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, we can't blame the baby and say it was this and that. You know what I mean? The first thing people hollering about is sacrifices. I mean, come on, bro. Let this man grieve first. You see what I'm saying? Let's see all the details that come out. We can't even say this man had a mental illness at this point. We can't say none of that. You know what I'm saying? People talking about that his wrist was leaking and stuff like that because he cut it and stuff like that. We don't know none of this to be true.